Welcome back to Doris Ranch. I'm Tobin. Here in a moment, or a few minutes, when you see the big tree on the map, it'll be that one right there. There's many orchards here. If I had to guess, there's at least eight. They're all fairly large, with the exception of the ones you know that have been cut down and replanted. This one here is the same one that I've shaven in and recorded from before. My first shave was last winter, and I used plunder. And then I used a mazel nut from Barrister and Man, Plunders by Noble Otter. And then I used Batch 214 from Bricktown Grooming, and I used Holy Black Soap for that. Okay, I'm all set up. I'm ready to go. As I was saying, I've been here before. The last time I shaved from here was August 15th. That's when I did my review for Batch 214, Bricktown Grooming and Phil Decker. I'm back here today for another review. I wanted to get this done a few days ago. But the air quality index has been absolutely horrible. We've been dealing with wildfires, which is usual for the Pacific Northwest. And uh, but the smoke has been sticking around a lot longer than we wish. Today's air quality index is at 174. Zero to 50 is good. 51 to 100 is moderate. 100, 101 to 150 is when you start getting into the unsafe zone. Anything over 150 is hazardous, and once you get over 200, you don't even want to go outside. And as I was saying, when I left the house, we were at about 174, I believe it was. The last few days has actually been higher, so I've been hoping and waiting for this to clear off because I really wanted to come back here for this shave. And I do apologize for the delay, especially to Douglas and Francis and Huxley. They sent me this soap as a gift to review. And I have the soap set is actually what they sent me. And that is for Otra. Otra is Spanish for other. It is a fougere. I have shaved with it four or five times now. Absolutely love it. I've worn it as a cologne to work on several occasions. Three days, I believe it was. And then I've worn it around the house. Here's my setup. Tripod in the tree, my mirror, my towel. I'll be using my finest badger, or best badger, from Razor Emporium. My 1951 Bakelite Handle Gillette Tech. Inside my vintage blade case, I have a first use platinum strangelet, my Phoenix scoop, matching splash, and my stainless steel bowl that I'll soak my brush in and use for rinsing off my razor in between passes. Okay, I'm all set up. And first, I want to say how good it feels to be out here. And again, thank Doug, Fran, and Hooks for the opportunity to review the soap and to again apologize for my delay. I probably should have just done this from home, but I love doing these outdoor shaves and it's been too long. I just kept saying tomorrow the weather would be better. Tomorrow the weather would be better. It's been sunny. It's been dry. That's part of the problem. It never got better. So here I am a week later, October 10th. Thank you. It's given me plenty of time though to get to know Otra. Otra is a fougere. Uh, real quick so I can put this in my pocket. I have loaded my razor with a first use um, platinum strangelet. And every time we go on the outdoors, we take out what we brought in and we take nothing with us. So it's take nothing, leave nothing approach to going into the outdoors. My badger brush, my captain's choice. I've already got that loaded. Water's precious when you're out here. I just wasted a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt me. And I'm absolutely loving this fragrance. It is, first let me just let me say that it is, like most fougeres, it is subtle. It is delicate. It is beautiful. It starts off with florals. First let me talk about something that I was thinking about when I was coming out here. 
I looked it up years ago, but then I forgot. So I want to talk about Al Finn and then also Otra. Al Finn is in the story, Douglas Smythe. Um, loves to do stories with a lot of his different fragrances. And shaving, at Phoenix shaving, it's more of an experience than just shaving. That's something I've always said, is that Phoenix makes shaving fun. And Douglas Smythe gets us. He gets the wet shaver. And because he gets the wet shaver, is because is is the reason why we have this word that you see on the label for Alfin and on the label of Otra, and that's esoteric. And I do believe that when I first got Alfin, I looked it up, but I couldn't quite recall. So I did look it up, and esoteric is basically think like inside joke, but it's intended for Oxford. Oxford says intended for or likely to be understood by only a small number of people with a specialized knowledge or interest. So, basically, if you're not a wet shaving, wet shaving hobbyist, you likely won't understand the rest of this video. It's rock and roll. Something else I wanna talk about today, besides just the fragrance of this, Otra, which is clean, fresh, green. I want to talk about fragrance wheel, fragrance wheels, olfactive families. And the reason why I want to do that is because this is a fougere. Fougere is a French word. It means fern. And a fun fact, you may or may not know this, living in Oregon, we have lots of different species of fern. Fern, ferns are odorless. So then you say, okay, Tobin, if a fern is odorless. Why are we calling a fragrance fern? You have to go back to the eight, late 1800s for that. Um, and I don't have really time for that, but if you look it up, it's like 1865 or 1895, something like that, is where it all started. A fragrance wheel. There's lots of different types of fragrance wheels that have been made over the years. The fragrance wheel that I'll be using today is from the bespoke unit. And a fragrance wheel has the different olfactive families. There's, there's a total of eight of them. And what these categorizations are for is not so much for the ingredients, but for the notes. So it's not about what's in it, it's about how it smells. So ingredients aren't as much as the topic as it is what the fragrance smells like. And that's, this, these terms all come from perfuming, but um, you know, wet shaving and fragrances, of course, go hand in hand. The eight families are arranged by relationship to one another. So for example, Woody and Oriental both share powdery and dry notes. If you've never used CK6, it is an absolute treat to use. Easily the best vegan soap on the market and arguably the best soap on the market, period. So, probably have you wondering, what are the eight categories? I got my mirror right here to the right. The eight categories are as follows. Aromatic, and then there's not chipra, not chipper. It's another French word. It's chipra. And I know I don't have a French accent. I don't roll my R's with Spanish either but it's sheep bra. And sheep bra is French for cypress. So we have aromatic and sheep bra, followed by citrus, floral, fougere, which is again French for fern, fougere. Rounded off by leather, oriental, and woody. 
It's important to also note that each of these eight categories, each of these eight different family members have sub families. So for example, aquatic, not aromatic, would be like aquatic aromatic, green aromatic, fruity aromatic, spicy aromatic. And like I was discussing a moment ago, it's not so much about what's in it as to what it smells like. So a fougere, which Otra is, Give me a second here. Getting back in the swing of things. It's definitely been too long since I've been out here. Out period doing an outdoor shave. Fougeres are made with a blend of fragrances. The top notes are sweet with lavender. And the top note in Otra is French lavender. And so then as the more volatile components evaporate, like the French lavender um, and the other, you know, floral and fruity fragrances. As they evaporate, a fougere will make way for oak moss and coumarin. Now, there's no coumarin in Otra. This is a good example that it's not about the ingredients, it's about the notes. What we do have in Otra, I'm not gonna go through the whole list, I'm just gonna have it up here. And then in a moment, I'll contrast and compare with Alfin, which is another absolutely amazing fragrance, the twin sister of Otra, fraternal twins. And I love them both. I haven't experienced Otra until Douglas sent me this. Otra was originally released in June of 2015. It was discontinued in 2017. And then now here we are five years later and it is back for how long, I don't know. Hopefully it sticks around for a while though, because this is a fragrance that you want to experience and I would classify it as a unisex. Um, it's absolutely amazing. But before I get too scatterbrained and start squirreling out, no coumarin, right? And it's not about the ingredients. In my opinion, didn't ask Doug this, my own research, tonka bean has coumarin in it. It's like, 3% coumarin, so you can get the coumarin from it. Coumarin smells like hay, which we have hay absolute. Hay absolute. And so if you look at these ingredients, I believe some of the ways that he's coming up with these Coumarin sense, and coumarin is banned from food ingredients in America. So I don't know if that's why, of course, it isn't in here. That's why I assume there's no coumarin in it for that very reason. Could be wrong. It's all about. notes the fragrance not the ingredients and when you got someone who knows what they're doing you know most anyone can make soap you know it's really not that hard and if you can bake cookies you can make soap can you make good soap i don't know i can make cookies but i can't make cookies like my wife does um blending fragrances i believe that's a, a science in itself and that it requires a very skilled, gifted hand. And that's exactly what you will find with Phoenix shaving, is that Douglas and Francis have a passion for this. And because of it, you get these expertly crafted, perfectly blended fragrances. So, Let's talk about a couple of the things that I noticed. This is just me noticing things when I was looking at these two fragrances, the twins, besides their story. There's a couple of the things that they have in common with one another. So you see the ingredients with Alfin. We have rose, bay leaf, lemon myrtle, 
vetiver, white clover, and cypress. I looked up white trefoil. White trefoil is the flower of a white clover. And of course down there at the bottom you have Rose Absolute. And on Alfin it doesn't list the type of vetiver. If I recall correctly, there's like three or four different types of vetiver. It is listed on Otra as Haitian. Something I looked up, the Gila Chrism. Gila Chrism. That was a cool one. That was a new word for me. And that is this guy here. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one right. I, I practiced it a couple of times. Um, I did actually my fair share of looking into these fragrances as I was getting ready for this video. Alfin has always been one of my favorites, and it's one that I still haven't bought the EDP of, and I keep saying I'm going to, but then I keep buying other ones. Um, I have a large selection of EDP fragrances, EDP sets from Phoenix Artisan. Ochre is a must for any den, and so is Alfin in my opinion. When you have an artisan who knows what they're doing, the sum is greater than the parts. So you have this long list of fragrance, these long, this long list of notes especially in Otra. On the top, I can pick out hints of lavender, but what I really get is just this beautiful, floral, slightly citrusy. You know, and I like to think of myself as a, a tough guy. Not, maybe not a macho man. Once upon a time, I considered myself a macho man, but you know, kind of have a, a rough exterior. I'm, I'm soft and gooey on the inside, but I typically don't want to walk around smelling like flowers and I want to assure you there's no way it just smells like a flower the sum is greater than the parts but it starts off slightly floral with a greenness to it I can from the aftershave the cologne, I can pick up notes of lavender. I have it on the back of my hand. From there though, it turns into this woody, very like outdoorsy green environment like I'm in today, um, to where it really becomes magical. They've taken all these notes that you saw or see, depending on how I put this together. There's even, you know, bamboo in there. I don't smell bamboo. I, I, I tried, like all these individual notes, I tried picking out different ones. Normally, I can pick vetiver out of anything. Two of my favorite fragrances, I was talking about this the other day. Vetiver Planet from Phoenix Artisan, which is not currently available, and Monstroso, which is a fall seasonal release that isn't available. I love vetiver. But this is so perfectly crafted and put together. But once you get into the heart notes, into the middle of it, with the splash, it's hard for me to... Oh, I'm full on doing another lather. Um, I was just going to do some cleanups. It's hard for me to pick out any one note, and that's because they've really done an excellent job. Yes, it starts out floral and green. It continues to be green and earthy, and then you can kind of round it out into this wood notes. But to try and put just one word or one label on this is extremely difficult for me to do and I've been trying to do that but what I can tell you is that it is seductive and I mean that um, my wife so two fragrance I love a lot of fragrances I um, I'll just go with recent examples black shroud and Thought Forms from Phoenix Artisan. I'm just gonna clean this up and clean it off. It's easier than dirtying up my towel. 
I have the samples of those. So those are not yet released. She didn't care for those. And I thought for sure that she would appreciate the thought forms. She didn't. And, you know, they, they'll probably grow on her. Um, you know, when Tokyo Rose first came out in my review, I gave it an 8 out of 10. And now it's a 10 out of 10. That, that scent has absolutely grown on me. But immediately, she was in love with this. And it is just one of those fragrances that 8 out of 10 women are going to love. I got so many compliments at work. Some of you know uh, I'm a coach operator, a transit operator, a bus driver. I drive inner city transit, drive a big fancy bus. So I get in close proximity with a lot of people that I don't know. And they don't know me. I got a couple compliments from men that were co-workers. Three different ladies, two of them on the same day, stopped dead in their tracks. The one lady said, what smells good? And then she realized it was me. And then the other lady, she walked in, took a deep breath, and gave me the biggest smile. And she says, you smell really good. And I wanted to tell her, I'm taken. This is a 10 out of 10. Right out of the get-go. Tokyo Rose was an 8 out of 10. I fell in love with it. Shave Chaser, that's the other soap I've had the privilege to do a review of for Doug and Fran. It was a 10 out of 10, right, right out of the gates. I've been waiting for Shave Chaser for years. I'd actually asked Doug about it three or four years ago. And as soon as, as, soon as it came, I was just 11 out of 10. I was upside down, excited with it. I have the EDP and the uh, solid of it now. But this is a 10 out of 10. I'm going to shoot it to you straight every single time. The links that you find below are not affiliate links. I don't do affiliate links. And the reason why I don't do affiliate links is because I'm a persuadable person. And if you pay me enough money, I'll sell you. If you pay me enough money, I would try and sell ice to an Eskimo. But I don't find any respect or honor in that. And so I'm more than well happy to do reviews, especially for guys that I consider friends like Douglas. And I have soaps and a few other things coming from a couple other companies right now. I respect people who do affiliate codes and I respect the companies who offer affiliate codes. Phoenix Shaving is one of them. I have nothing to gain from you buying this and I have nothing to lose from you buying this. My honest opinion is that most men are going to love this. And I'm telling you right now, eight out of 10, nine out of 10 women that you come into contact with will be drawn to the scent. Floral, green, heart notes, slightly earthy, slightly floral. It is seductive, it is alluring, it is a magnet. It really, really is. I don't know how to describe it. Um, this is, I only have a couple of fougeres in my den out of all the fragrances I have. I'm typically not a floral guy, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't buy Tokyo Rose when it came out before, and that's probably one of the reasons why I didn't buy this when it was out before. I love it. And you need Alfin and Otra in your den. If you have Alfin and you like it, this is her sweet sister, her sweet floral sister. Sky is falling. I want to thank you all for joining me out here today. Seriously, Otra's a 10 out of 10. I freaking love it. Enjoy the day. The sun's trying to come through all the smoke. Thank you, Doug and Fran. Thank you for watching. And hey, it's a little big things like getting outside and enjoying the wildfire smoke. Y'all take care. Not too sure how well this picks up the smoke. In front of me is an orchard that was taken down because of the Eastern blight that I've talked about in previous videos and they've replanted. 
have chosen Doris Ranch and my spot along the McKinsey River as a place to do reoccurring shave videos, both because they're great places to capture the seasons and both because my family and I have spent a lot of time at both places. There's miles and miles of river trails here, not just the orchards, but there's lots to do here. And one thing you will notice is that it is harvest season. It's almost the middle of October. There's a gray squirrel. Lots of wildlife in here. Um, in my plunder video, there's a woodpecker. I love this place though. I've been coming here my whole life. Somewhere in the video, I'm gonna put a picture of the haunted hayride sign. I've talked about that before. And uh, that's coming up. The haunted hayride is a lot of fun. Hopefully this smoke clears out for them. Because if, I know if the air quality index is much over 100 or 150, it'll be canceled. And when I was headed out here today, the index was at 174. So pretty hazardous.